So what is up guys, Nick here helping you to master your technology, seven reasons why you need the iPhone 14 Pro. So the iPhone 14 Pro starts at 999 for 128 gig and goes up to 14 99. First reason you need this phone is the camera. So I was going to make a month later video, but this is going to take the place of that. Instead, the cameras have been mind bogglingly good, AKA almost replacing a full blown camera. As a matter of fact, I've been shooting some of my videos and people have asked, why are you shooting on the pro? And the answer is, is because even real cameras, which do a better job, I think in a lot of areas, the 14 Pro can do just fine in, in a replacement. And they've improved the front-facing camera pretty substantially. So if you are into you know doing vlog videos like that and you wanna match them up with the rear, that's pretty good. You can shoot raw photography on the front. You can change kind of like the look with these different color modes without having to know how to use a camera too much, just a couple taps away. I also like the versatility of the zooming here with the 14 Pro. After a month or so of usage, this thing is just really good that you can go 2X again. That's kind of like what you could do with the iPhone 7 Plus days and 8 Plus days. And now you can do the 3X as well, just like some of the other iPhones. You can go 15X in the zoom and ultra wide. Not only that, if you come out of here in video, this action mode is actually butter smooth, provided you have the right light. In low light, this doesn't work too well. It's a little bit noisy and it's not the best action mode ever. Like Apple's gonna improve this. It can only do 2.8K. But for our first attempt, it's pretty good. And cinematic video also improves with 4K 30, giving you just the ultimate, I mean, when we're talking pro, when Apple labels this a pro phone, I feel like they actually are coming through with that statement here, finally on this phone. This actually feels like an iPhone pro. Like, it feels like I could literally use this instead of a camera. And that's what I wanted to always do with iPhones. And it started with the 11 pro, but it's getting to the point now where, you could probably just ditch your camera altogether. If you just learn how to use it a little bit, download an extra app, which will allow you to tweak ISO, stuff like that, you really could use this as your main camera. And you can see right here, if we go to format, now you can even shoot in those 48 megapixel photos if you wanna you know, print something, things like that. You can do Apple Pro Raw, ProRes video. I mean, it's all here. So <laughs> you just that's just one of the reasons you definitely need this device. Always on display is objectively a solid reason to get this. It's actually quite a big deal for iPhone. Now I have complained that it's too bright in the past and I'm not backtracking my statements, but I still have to objectively say that for those who use iPhone, having this feature can be a game changer for you. And it's one of the reasons you might need to pick up an iPhone 14 Pro if you want a different experience with your phone. Yes, I think Apple could lower the brightness, but just having it is kind of neat. You know, there's there's situations where you don't have your watch on, you need to see this and you could see it quite easily. So that's definitely a big major reason here to consider the 14 Pro. So the dynamic island up here, another major reason to consider this phone. Now you can go ahead and swap between music and stuff like that. Also, we talked about how it uses a timer. It also will show when you're getting a call up here. In addition to that, when you connect things like AirPods. So I like how they took a feature that was kind of, you know, they had to put it there to put a camera and face ID. And this kind of makes this phone feel like the biggest change since Apple iPhone 10. And while the body is not drastically different from that era, at least, you know, there's something that is drastically different in the dynamic island. Now, not every user is going to take advantage of this all the time, but it actually does play into your day to day use. You actually, you don't like after a while, you don't really think about it too much, but it's still kind of a part of the experience. And then when you go back to a phone with a notch, you will definitely notice you're not on a 14 Pro. So dynamic island is a real reason and a reason you might want to need the iPhone 14 Pro as your next iPhone. The next reason is the price. Now, I talked about the prices earlier, I gave you a little intro to them, but let's keep in mind something. The iPhone 10 started at 128 gigs at 999 and had less storage than this. This has more storage, starts at the same price, even with inflation, and we continue and we get a much better phone, like a way, way better phone than the iPhone 10. So I gotta say, you know, this is definitely a good reason to pick up this phone. 
It's just because the price stayed the same after all of these years and the cameras are drastically better. The phone's drastically faster. The screen is much brighter. I mean, it's not bad, you know, that they kept the price the same. Yes, it's still a high price phone. It always has been since the iPhone 10 days, but still you're getting a lot for that price by comparison to what you could have got just a couple of years back. The next reason is the Apple A16 chipset. Now, this might not be a groundbreaking update over the A15, which is why we see A15 in phones like the iPhone 14 and the iPhone 14 Plus. However, I will say that this phone is blistering fast and somehow, some way, it still feels quicker day to day than even iPhone 13 models. This does have the 120 Hertz promotion just like those models, but it has better gaming performance, better dirt thermal design. So if you're into top level performance, a phone that stays cool all the time to the touch, you're gonna want and need this phone right here. This phone just doesn't get too warm. It's just butter all the time, no crashing really, no delays. And if there is a crash, it's likely an iOS bug that will get patched. So yeah, you need the iPhone 14 Pro if you need top world-class performance and you want that world-class performance for five years. I even think the 14 Pro with these chips and maybe even the 13 Pro with these, these current A-series chips, they might even last like six or seven years how fast these things are. They're super overpowered and it continues here. And so the brightness on this phone has actually been surprisingly useful. And if you're the type of person who works outdoors or is outdoors a lot in the sun every day, or you're just, you, you just need more brightness, this phone provides it to you up to 2000 nits of usable in sunlight, but regular day to day, it's actually so, it's so bright. I have to go ahead and reduce the white point at nighttime because it's so bright. It actually hurts my eyes. That's how bright this phone can get. So if you need that extra brightness, you're going to want this. So I go down here, I reduce the white point at night because it's just searingly bright. So if you do want, you know, top level brightness on a phone, you need this device. There's really not many phones, maybe none that are as bright as the iPhone 14 pro and pro max. These things are ridiculous with their brightness levels. So that's definitely a pro feature as well, because a lot of premium displays like XDR displays and stuff like that get really bright as well. So definitely you'll want it for the brightest phone out there. And number seven, it has all day battery life for a phone that's 6.1 inches. It's the perfect balance. You have good battery life, you have great cameras, great brightness, premium build. This phone is near perfection. We do have a dynamic island pill cutout looking thing that is useful with software. Some people will like and dislike. It really comes down to you. Like I say, with nothing there, full screen, it's a perfect smartphone, but we're darn already near this being a perfect smartphone. So if you want the most balanced, a premium, best battery, really good camera and a 6.1 inch size is comfortable for most people. You gotta go grab a 14 Pro. You're gonna be a really happy user. So a couple months later, a month or two later, I gotta say, there's there's not much more else to say. It just reigns supreme once again. The 13 Pro last year was near the perfect smartphone and Apple's done it again. Have they really overdone themselves? No, I think they played it a little bit safe once again but they've improved the cameras enough. They've improved the brightness. The little things matter. They add up. And I, I could definitely recommend this one. Let me know your thoughts on the iPhone 14 Pro. Did you pick one up? What are your, your take on it at this point? And um, I could tell you right now that one of the reasons I'm covering this is because it's still hard to find. I checked the stock. I, I still I still can't find pretty much out of stock in a lot of places. And I don't want to buy on my carrier. I'm talking about Apple stores. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.